women's sexuality is deeper, more colorful, kinkier than most of us imagine. And that's where the next material that I'm going to talk about comes in. It's called Nancy Friday, My Secret Garden. There are many unspoken truths in this world. And one of them is the truth about our sexuality. Especially women's sexuality, but men's as well. We find that women's sexuality has not been allowed to express itself for generations. Not as much as it is, not as much as possibly people would have liked, or maybe it's already too much <laughs> for the taste of some people. And it proved to be an eye-opener for me. I already suspected some, but it was refreshing, erotic, beautiful material and true material that, uh, that was a pleasure to read. It is a collection of women's sexual fantasies spoken in complete anonymity and in full colorful detail. They exist, they are very colorful and very deep and I love them <laughs> really because it really shows that even though we are plastic, we try to adapt to what society uh, teaches us we must do. And for women, at least, in most cultures, they try to suppress their sexuality for no reason other than transfer the transfer of property. It, that doesn't suppress human nature. Human nature will find a way to express itself. And in the realm of your mind, deep, where almost nobody reaches. You don't speak up, most women don't speak about these fantasies to their loved ones, to their partners, to their friends, but they may speak about it anonymously, completely anonymously, because of natural fear of being judged, of being abnormal. It is normal to have sexual fantasies, and it is normal for, for them to be kinky and uh, highly erotic from rape to multiple partners to anything you can imagine it's there it exists which is not to say women desire to be raped not at all the rape sexual fantasy has very little to do with the actual uh, act itself it is about surrendering will and alleviating guilt if women have been taught that sexuality is guilty, a fantasy where it's not their fault, they're powerless to do anything about it, then they're free to enjoy themselves. That's what uh, a rape fantasy usually is. It's not about the uh, horrifying act of actually being raped. And hopefully, if we read it with an open heart and an open mind, firstly, we'll find that we perhaps find ourselves, uh, see a bit of ourselves in the fantasies presented therein, and if not, hopefully understand that humans do express themselves and do have an erotic side, whether you try to suppress it or not.